everybody, it's me, Adam. Um, want to talk about Shadowbringers. Um, I think that it's been a really good expansion. This will not be a review. It won't be that. Um, I think that uh, most people who have reviewed Shadowbringers, I can just about 100% agree with them. There are still a few things. I have some problem with this expansion, but for the most part, it's very positive. Um, and I don't want to sit here and go over the positives, you know, because there's so many things to cover. Because the expansion does something extremely well. And I like Sh uh, Stormblood. I liked it more than Heaven's Ward. I really did. Especially the storytelling. I wasn't a fan of Heaven's Ward's storytelling. I don't think it was a bad uh, expansion. It was it was still good. And so I am, I know the, I'm the minority on that one. So uh, I do believe... Stormblood was better than Heaven's Word. I don't think Stormblood's uh, side content, is, you know, his patches was as good as Heaven's Word patches. And they both had bad patches. Stormblood probably had the worst out of Heaven's Word. So I believe that's probably why Stormblood, in my opinion, does fall a bit short compared to Heaven's Word. Uh, but this is not about Stormblood and Heaven's Word. This is about Shadowbringers. And I want to talk about a few things that I really enjoyed. And the music, I'm not a music guy. But I did enjoy the music in this expansion. Uh, so there are some songs that are slower. I prefer more exciting and upbeat music. I'm not too about care. I don't care too much for the slower sounding music. But it still sounds good, you know. I think the the last dungeon for Shadowbringers, um, Academy of Ander, I didn't care for the music in that one. I, I didn't. It's not bad music. It's just that wasn't my taste, you know. I don't care for jazz, you know, most jazz anyways, you know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it, it literally comes down to personal preference. That was my opinion. I think most of my complaints are based on that. Personal preference. And um, I think in the main story, there are a few times where things may seem a little bit too predictable. You know, death flags or obviously or, you know, I was, I'll say like anti-death flags. You're like, okay, we know you're not going to do this. Then there are times you can see it coming. But there are times you still kind of expect it. But you still feel bad for the character. I think the storytelling is what really set this expansion far away from Stormblood and Heaven's Word. There was really one moment in Heaven's Word I felt like they did a decent job with actually making you feel bad. Um, but I still didn't care for that character, right? And Shadowbringers, the cinematography and the cutscenes are done so much different. There has a lot more weight and more tension to it. That characters that you didn't even care for, like regular soldiers, you know, that might be an unfortunate end, you're like, oh man, that, that feels bad for him, you know. And I was like, wow, that's actually pretty good, you know. That ha I actually, I was upset, not not you know upset, but you know, you know what I mean. I felt I care about some of these characters a little bit more, you know, even if they were just no name characters. Uh, the feels were a lot better. You know, uh, it was, it literally came down to how well the story was explained and, and told to us. Um, but there were moments in the story that I didn't care for. And I think the role quest where you play as a gunbreaker, uh, I don't want to spoil it, it was a very boring role quest. And I think role quests in general have never, in my opinion, been amazing. It's been kind of neat to play as a certain character, you know. Um, but it was generally always very, very simple fights. And this one was very simple, but extremely long and boring. And Gunbreaker is a really fun class. I actually enjoyed that one. Um, it's I don't know if I'm going to main it. Main it. Uh, I did get it to uh, 70 before I started doing the main story. And I enjoyed Gunbreaker. I, I still do to this day. It's a really, really great class. Um, but I think the Royal Quest needs to be looked at uh, for that main scenario. It really does. And I think Royal Quest in general need to be looked at in a sense that I feel like they go on a little too long. They might be kind of a little too boring and way too repetitive. Like, there are certain actions you will spam way too much in a role quest to where it gets very monotonous. So, role quests, they need more looking into. I, I believe that. They're not quite there yet. It's nice for them to something do a bit different for the job quests, but role quests... Are just not where it is. It's just not. Um, I, I actually would prefer the having the regular job quest 
and instead of the new role quest for your, your jobs. Still isn't bad though. Um, as for the actual main story though, like the role quest events you do play in, the main story, I didn't care too much for. Um, there's also another character that sort of kind of retreads waters uh, with in Stormblood. It's a, the character is kind of cool, you know, but it, it does retread the, the whole Xenos water. Oh, we, we can't beat this guy. We got to run from him, you know. He has cool cutscenes, cool moments. That's great. But the character is very underused and falls flat and does not have a payoff like Xenos did in Stormblood. So that's probably one of the weaker points, but that's not that big of a deal considering how great the expansion was and the, and the entire main story really is. Uh, the next thing I, I would say complaint-wise I would have for Shadowbringers literally comes down to jobs. Certain jobs do not feel like they got their just desserts, you know, or they felt balanced. Astrologian, it plays exactly the same when it comes to doing DPS and healing for the most part. Its card system is a lot different. I don't care for the card system now. It's very simple, and you do use the cards a lot more with sleeve draw because you have to, you know, keep drawing cards over and over. The old sleeve draw. You kind of draw them all at once and you use them then. But you here you feel like you have to do a few more actions. It feels more it feels more cluttered. Like sleeve draw does not feel smooth. It feels very cluttered. It really does. I don't like the current sleeve draw. Um, there are a few skills that feel kind of weird, like horoscope. You use it once, then you use it again for a heal. So you use it once, pop it again for a heal, and I don't understand after 10 seconds why does it immediately pop the heal. Also, if you use Helios, it will upgrade it as well. If you use Helios or Petal Helios, it upgrades it, use it again. So, stronger heal is kind of weird. Astrologian is probably one of the weaker healers, not because of its healing. It's actually healing is fine. You know, you have Mitchell Sect. The problem with Astrologian, it literally comes down to when it tries to do DPS, it does not have a stun. That makes a huge difference. Astrologian is not a bad healer. It's not. People are shitting on Astrologian right now. Um, and I was one of the guys that criticized Astrologian for the cards uh, when it first got revealed. But even in that video, I said Astrologian will not be a bad healer. I just don't see that happening. Um, it might not be as exciting with the new card system changes. And I do agree with that. But it heals just fine. The problem is... It's, it has trouble DPSing because certain OGCDs are too weak when you compare it to White Mage. Like, and the biggest thing for Asher though literally is that stun. It, it losing that stun on Celestial Opposition was a huge nerf because now it can't stun mobs and DPS as much. It can never, Holy was always the better stun, always was. Not only did it stun mobs, it did a lot of damage. It really did help out for DPS for White Mage. Astro, it was always 4 second stun, but now it lost that. It also lost the extending the buff duration. I feel like there were certain things they tried to curve and tried to prevent certain classes of being too strong. And I get it, Astrologian shouldn't do as much DPS as the other healers and other classes because it should bring us so much DPS to the party with this card system, it should be fine. The problem isn't it's DPS, it literally is how it DPSs and tries to heal at the same time. That's his issue. Essential Dignity is way too weak, needs to be increased by another 100 potency. Uh, the cooldown for Neutral Sec is way too long. That is absurd. Two minute cooldown is way too hard. The problem is with Astrologian is when you go into a fight for a dungeon, you fight mobs, you use your abilities, keep the guys healed up. But the problem is the next the next set of runs or the next boss, a lot of your cooldowns are down, you know, and that's not that's not acceptable. Like I feel like they made a few cooldown adjustments, and also this class does have mana issues. They did a slight hot fix, but it's not enough. Astrologian still has mana issues, but it's not a bad healer. Don't believe what everybody says it is. It heals just fine. The problem is when it tries to do DPS also, it lacks in the OGC department because its GCD healing is just as strong as White Mage. It literally is. It's just as strong as White Mage. Like that is, 
It's completely absurd to try to say that it heals bad due to that. I'm, I'm going to show you, for example, if I can actually equip my weapons because the whole inventory system is kind of whack, this expansion. Okay. Cure 2, 700 potency. Benefit 2, 700 potency. Cure 1, 450 with a 50% chance that Cure 2 would cost no mana. Astrologian, Benefit 1 is 50 potency less, but with a 15% chance that Benefit 2 will automatically crit. I also have two charges of Dignity, um, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's also it's instant, it has two charges. Um, it also has the Star, uh, White Mage, the Lilies. I hardly ever use the Lilies. I find myself actually burning the Lilies. White Mage is really, really good right now, and it's fine for it to be that to be that good. But I feel like Ashologian needs to have some of its power back in its OGTDs. I feel like they nerfed the card system way too hard, and that's fine if you want to nerf it. But why would you nerf all of the its healing aspects? You know, it's a it DPS the exact same. You have three spells. Four if you count star. You have Malefic, Gravity, and Combust. That's it. That's actually getting anything new comes to doing DPS. It's exactly the same. It just literally is OGCD is a little bit weaker. And it has mana issues. But other than that, it's not trash like everybody says it is. It's just not. That's, that's the farthest from the truth. And there are other jobs I can go into that I feel like kind of... Got shafted a little bit. Didn't have issues fixed like Ninja. Ninja is a job that, in my opinion, I feel like it got worse. I feel like it got worse. Mise or Misue um, is an ability that I don't like it. I like it one bit. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like Tan Chi Jin. Um, the job clips a lot. And there's nothing wrong with clipping. The problem is when you do clip, you should feel like you're doing a lot of DPS. And your DPS is so bad as a, as a ninja. And it's so hard to to get ninja DPS. And you're not doing as much DPS as a monk. It, it, it's just... I feel like the amount of DPS a monk brings and the rage utility makes it more than enough to where I think a monk is, is, is better than a ninja. I'm not a math expert, so I, I I'm, could be very wrong on that. But I feel like a monk... Brings more personal DPS and better raid utility. Has better heals for the healers, which is really, really good. Um, the setup, really good shields. Excellent. Uh, and it has increased damage. You know, so that helps a lot. It might not be 10%, but it's 5%. And you know what? It's still pretty good, I would say. Um, so... Shadowbringers is a really good expansion. I do know that some of this in-game content hasn't really... It's not there yet. We're still waiting on 4.1 in the Savage. So I will say this. I'm not too big on the current normal fights. I think that I like the Titan one. I didn't care for the third one. It was a nice addition. You know, I like having a older boss, but make it a lot better. And it, it is. It's a lot better to fight. Like... The new Leviathan fight is a lot better. It really is. Um, the first two fights, I know it's 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 kind of like Final Fantasy VIII Easter eggs, and I I don't hate eight. I never played it. Not a fan of eight, but I didn't care for those two raids and uh, five. I never played five. Didn't care for five. Well, I did play it, but I never cared for it. But you know what? I actually enjoyed Death Escape raids. I enjoyed fighting Alt Royd. Uh, I didn't like Hash uh, Catastrophe. Didn't like it, but I enjoyed fighting Helicarnassus and x -Def and neo x -Def. Uh, I enjoyed that. alt Roy was not as bad as people say it was. Um, it was an amazing fight, but I actually enjoyed it. It was, you were, it felt kind of like a, a very synchronized swim. It was kind of exciting in its own way. It's not horrible though. I mean, there's a lot of movement involved. I actually enjoyed it. Um, compared to these two raids though, I don't care too much for them. The third is isn't that bad. The fourth one was kind of fun. Uh, I do feel like the Rays somehow just had a shit ton of AoEs. That was literally their, uh, wasn't a whole lot of variation, I felt. I felt like it was just way too many AoEs. Like, I don't feel like it's bad, but I feel like, compared to Halakarnassus, they had these little mini games, you know, you gotta stand on panels, uh, 
the catastrophe usually had either a certain mechanics you had to figure out. A lot of these mechanics were very straightforward and just way too simple to learn. Um, it does feel a little too weak, you know. Um, but when it comes down to it, though, it's been a pretty good expansion. It really has. And I know it feels like I'm being very harsh on it. But I will say this. I feel like my criticisms on Shadowbringers are very weak. It feels like I'm grasping at straws. So I will say that. It's a really great, really great. The voice work also is a really great in this expansion. Um, I don't have too much to say. I do want to make a video on certain jobs. Uh, I do plan to get them all to 80. I think currently right now I have quite a few to 80. Uh, I am getting a bit burned out because, oof, some of these jobs gets kind of painful because I had actually leveled up a lot of these jobs because the queues actually was getting worse as the expansion went on. And I got all the NPCs to 80. All of them to 80. And um, that was something. And I do have complaints on the trust system. The trust system has some issues. For one, we lost characters on the trust. I don't like that. I don't. We, we had two more characters, um, and now they're gone. I don't want to expose who they were. Um, but I feel like that is something I want them to, to, to fix. I don't think it's going to make it better. It's just like, you know, you remove the option to have them in there. Why? You know, um, I don't get that. Because I can run a previous dungeon with Shushtola, but in a story, she was never there. So, why can't I run it with another character? The later dungeons. Why not? I feel like sometimes the story kind of ruins certain game mechanics. Um, also, NPCs... Um, their lack of AoEs is kind of upsetting. Uh, I don't expect them to do amazing DPS, but I feel like sometimes they have these certain personality traits that are kind of fine, but sometimes you can see that it's like, yeah, you might take that shit a little too serious. And that's all I have to say about Shadowbringers. Um, I think it's been a very, very good expansion. Uh, I do plan to make more videos on it. I haven't streamed in a while or made too many videos. I've just been playing a lot of Shadowbringers. I have. And I do feel like I'm going to slow back, uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, I do want to go back actually and play Heaven's Word and Stormblood. Um, and try to get a refresher of the, the, the stories. Is Stormblood as great as I remember it? Is it as great as I remember it? Maybe Heaven's Word is better. You know? Maybe I play it again. And I feel like when uh, 5.1 comes around. I could look at it then. I'm also thinking about. You know, trying out a brand new character. So, I could do that as well. Um, I'll let you guys know. If you guys like the video, I appreciate it. Give me a like and a comment down below. Uh, subscribe also if you want to see more content. Hit that bell. Uh, until, until then, guys, I'll see y'all next time.